and uh, welcome to this uh, computer craft tutorial. Uh, today's episode we're going, going through uh, Open Peripheral, which is an add-on to computer craft. And in this episode uh, we're going through how to measure information about liquids in uh, machines and tanks and storage and stuff. So uh, this is today's uh, contraption. Basically it measures the tanks which is behind here through uh, network cables. So uh, let's get to how we can do this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is connect uh, the modem to whatever you are uh, reading uh, the liquid from. Uh, you could also put the computer uh, just beside the thing you're wanted, wanting to check, but uh, in this case I'm using uh, wired modems. And uh, then you have to uh, connect this uh, modem so you get the message down in the corner there. So then we have to remember that name and wrap it. So, uh, like so, an RC steel tank valve tile, I believe it was. And then we could do list methods, which is the method we learned last time. So now you see we don't get the same methods as we did with the inventory, but we still get list methods and get advanced methods data. But we also get this new one, which is get tank info. This is the method we want to use to uh, get out the information about that tank. So then we simply do, uh, oh, let's save that information. So info equals p dot get tank info. And then we need to supply it with a direction. Uh, I usually just write a known here that works, like so. And then we have a table in info, and then we could uh, loop through that uh, table and check all the values. So here you have uh, information or information one and two, and I don't know why it does that, but probably some coding with the tanks, but uh, usually the information you want is in table 1. Uh, there are some machines which have multiple uh, liquids in it, and then you can use the 1 and 2 and so on to uh, get the different, uh, different uh, things. Okay, uh, so uh, this first one, that's... Uh, the tank and the second one I don't know what that is but the uh, yeah, first one is the tank and uh, at the moment we only get out the capacity since there's nothing in the tank so uh, let's put this uh, lava creative thing on the top and uh, let it run for some seconds and then like so so now there's uh, some lava in there and if we then uh, do the info get tank thing again uh, and then we could uh, again look through the values we see here raw name, lava, amount, and capacity, and a name, and the ID of that uh, liquid. So it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, so that's uh, simply how you do it. It's nothing uh, or not harder than that. So now let's see how you could do what I did here. It's uh, pretty easy actually, so uh, be right back. Okay, so here you see I've started the program again. So uh, it uh, detected what kind of liquids is, is in there and, and now it's just uh, calculating how much percent of that uh, tank is filled and shoving a progress bar. So uh, pretty cool. So uh, let's uh, look at this program. Uh, first we simply wrap the monitor and then we wrap uh, the wired modem on the back. Uh, then we have some functions here which returns the size of the monitor. And here I have I've wrapped uh, both the iron tank and the steel tank with uh, the name. So uh, again when you see I uh, disconnect and connect this you see the names there. And I just put them in a table so I can uh, easily, yeah, do a, or not have to remember the 
the variable names and there's just it's just tank one and tank two and uh, then a function which clears the screen monitor and uh, then I made some functions which uh, yeah just makes the writing to the monitor a bit easier so instead of having all these functions uh, separately or every time I just wrote it in one function so I can just supply it with an x and y coordinate and text and colors and it does everything for me then the, a little bit advanced method but it's not really that complex uh, the function which draws the progress bars uh, and I have like yeah, x and y coordinates, how many percent, the name of the bar, the length, the size, and bar color and uh, um, background bar color, so in this case blue and dark gray and orange. Uh, then I just check if the length uh, you give it is uh, longer than uh, the length of the monitor so you can't do that so then i just put the length to be the length of the monitor instead and uh, then i calculate how far i want this bar to be uh, so i simply just do a, a percent percentage calculation so i calculate how much percent whatever you do is of 100 and then times it by the length of your progress bar and then I get uh, then I could yeah do the progress bar <laughs> and then I have the bar text which simply displays the name and uh, line and how much percent it is so uh, this thing right here and then I do a for loop so I can get uh, or write in different sizes so instead of having like only one pixel uh, uh, long uh, progress bar I can have uh, longer than that and then I just use my one right to X and uh, that Y coordinate and uh, do a string rep so I can yeah, just do an empty uh, empty space uh, in the length I want so this first one here is uh, this is the background uh, progress bar and which colors I want that to be so uh, I the color or text color doesn't matter so it's only the background color so I want it to be whatever background color I supply up here and uh, right after that I do uh, another one which writes the actual actual progress bar and uh, instead of using the length of the bar, I use the bar size, which I calculated here. And then I just write that on top of uh, the background progress bar. Uh, and here I, uh, I just do some simple uh, calculations to uh, determine if, uh, or yeah, if I want to have this text on the, in the middle of the bar or following the progress bar, so I'm checking if this progress bar uh, has gotten longer than whatever uh, the amount of characters there is in this uh, text. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, not really that hard. I just uh, have my x coordinate which I supplied up here and add it to the bar size and then I subtract the length of the bar text and then I put it in the middle of the of the progress bar and then supply it with the colors I want and uh, again here if it if it doesn't fit on the progress bar I just want to write it in, in the middle like this one and have the background color be the background color of the progress bar uh, and uh, here uh, it's a percentage calculate calculation function <laughs> so simple percentage calculation and here is the actual function which returns the amount of uh, liquid in a tank so uh, I just do I need to supply it with a number since I have uh, two tanks so one and two and that will return uh, the amount and capacity will return capacity and uh, get fuel will return the fuel name and then I do an internal loop here 
so I get first uh, the thank tank 1% and tank 1 name and tank 2% and tank 2 name with the functions above while calculating the percentage and then I draw the percentage bars to the screen and sleep so uh, yeah oops and then it looks like this so uh, this text will continue to follow the progress bar so uh, pretty cool to have like a main screen in your base just displaying information about all your uh, liquids and stuff in the base on, in one spot instead of going down into, into your basement and uh, having to look at the tanks and stuff like that. So I uh, hope you liked this episode, please subscribe and if there's anything you're uh, Anything you don't get or things you want to get a better explanation of, feel free to ask and uh, see you another time. Bye.